business, money, sales. All these things require a great e-commerce website, but to build one, you need the right tool. So let me show you the best website builder for e-commerce. Well, you probably have a lot of different projects on your mind, so giving just one tool wouldn't make that much sense. For that, I've selected free builders that should fit different needs. And the best provider that is focused solely on selling is without a doubt, Shopify. Now, a fair warning here, as we'll see, it's not that extensive when it comes to design or unique structure. This can be limited if you have a very specific project in mind, but for beginners or more regular websites, it's a distraction-free experience. It is less of a website builder and more of an e-commerce platform, but let me show you. The Shopify platform provides access to a selection of approximately 12 free templates. Yeah, it's not the biggest selection out there. There are around 150 premium themes to fix this issue, but they do cost extra, like up to $400 extra. This isn't perfect when you also pay for the builder itself, but these templates are great looking and constantly updated, a good investment for a business or e-commerce website. Moreover, third-party resources offer a diverse array of design options. There are a lot of them, and some of them are way more affordable than from Shopify directly. As I mentioned, the website editing process here is simplified. There are not a lot of elements or options to get lost in. However, it doesn't have the conventional drag and drop controls, and you can only place things in predefined locations, so the Shopify editor can feel rigid. Sort of like working with large Lego blocks. As for style customization, you get this left sidebar that has a decent selection of options for fonts, color, animations, and layout spacing. Overall, I like just how simple working with Shopify Editor is. It removes a lot of headaches if you're new to website design and structure. Turning our attention to the management aspects, Shopify excels in providing an extensive suite of tools essential for any e-commerce project. This includes, but is not limited to, tax calculation, inventory management features, and mobile applications for easier accessibility. Adding products is very simple, and you can import them from other sources. You can set up gift cards, promos, and all that a modern online store should have. And if you think that Shopify has a lot now, well, let me introduce you to its third-party app marketplace boasting over 7,000 extensions and tools, including a few Shopify dropshipping automation options. While this ecosystem ensures flexibility, keep in mind that most of these have their monthly fees. Starting with Shopify doesn't require any money up front, and this trial is an interesting one. You see, first you only get free days for free, when the standard is usually 7 to 14 days, but you can test out nearly all parts of Shopify during this time. Second, to sell and get a profit, you will need to upgrade to premium plans, but Shopify has your back and offers free months for free dollars. I probably don't need to tell you that you can do a lot during free months, especially if you start before Christmas or other holidays. As for regular premium plans, these start at $29 per month and include tools to help you manage and market your products. More expensive plans lower the transaction fees and give better discounts on shipping. If you are on a budget, there's also the Shopify starter option for $5 per month. Alright, you can't have a business website that takes forever to load. Have you seen people's attention span these days? I won't go into too many technical details, but Google currently recommends fully loading a website in under 3 seconds. Better loading time can lead to better placement in Google search results. So I've created a brand new store with a few products, nothing special. Running the test through GT Metrics reveals good results. 
The full content load time approximates 3.5 seconds, but all major parts loading in around 2.3 seconds. Yes, it falls a bit out of the recommended range, but after adding way more elements and products to my store, the overall loading time didn't seem to change that much. So after this small Shopify review, it should be clear that it's one exceptional e-commerce platform offering user-friendly features and lots of tools for online shops. It is a bit more expensive if you want to utilize it fully and the editor can feel a bit rigid, but I recommend you give Shopify a try. Okay, okay, I hear you. You want something broader and not just focused on online stores. Well, then my recommendation would be a versatile business website builder like Wix. It's a more focused and streamlined platform that has nearly any feature your business might need. Is it the right tool if you have zero web building experience? Well, sort of, if you're not afraid to learn a bit, but let me show you what I mean. Compared to Shopify, Wix offers so much more creative freedom, if you're looking for that kind of thing. Wix comes with two main building options, pick a template or let Wix's smart technology design it for you. I'd suggest going for the regular templates because they're simpler and easy to work with. And the cool thing is there are over 900 modern and colorful designs to choose from. I can guarantee you that you'll find something you like. But with all the choices, there's no easy way to buy pre-made themes, which might require a bit more work from you. If you go with the AI help after going through a little setup, you get free auto-generated themes to pick from. Sometimes these are quite nice, other times not so much. So for now, stick with templates. No matter how you start, the Wix editor is like a big space where you can add whole sections or single pieces to make your website just how you want it. The selection is huge, with simple shapes, music players, or complex animations. I like that Wix offers a search bar. After using it a few times, it's now my go-to way of finding what I need. The drag and drop controls are responsive and, dare I say, fun to use. To not get lost in your structure, Wix implements a grid system that shows the relationship of each element with other parts of your design. If you have more experience taming websites, you can even add code snippets. Basically, you want something unique for your e-commerce website, there's a 99% chance that Wix can offer that. The basic management side here is straightforward. Adding products, managing inventory, or creating discounts takes only a few steps. Wix's app marketplace, boasting over 300 apps, extends the functionality of business sites, incorporating features like booking, donation systems, and analytic tools. While the selection is extensive, many apps come with an additional monthly cost. Wix also has a good marketing suite, from email marketing and Google business profiles to social media ads. And I also love that Wix further supports users with tips and templates. First, Wix has a full-on free plan. Not a trial, but a plan, meaning you can create a website and host it on the subdomain for whatever time you want. Sure, this option isn't viable for business due to extreme limitations and Wix advertisements just plastered all over your design. As for the premium, if you are looking to create a simple business site and not sell anything, the light plan will be enough. You can start listing products with the core plan that goes for a similar price to Shopify. All Wix plans include unlimited bandwidth, free SSL certificates, and a complimentary domain name for one year. The main difference in the more expensive plans is advanced e-commerce or marketing features. Right, I've praised Wix quite enough here, let's address something. Wix is quite slow. If the Shopify store took around 3 seconds to load fully, Wix managed to do the same thing in 8. Not even close to a perfect result for e-commerce website builder. 
And I think most of this has to do with just how extensive Wix is, since adding more third-party add-ons can increase loading times even more. It's sort of better to keep your site lean and clean. Looking a bit more into these results, it seems like the structure and performance all scored quite well. And hey, visiting my website doesn't feel like it takes that long to load. What's happening? Well, you see this 2.7 second mark? Wix loads most of your site at this point, while other parts are loaded in the background. For the end user, it should feel like a modern performance. So I recommend Wix Website Builder for those who aren't afraid of a mild learning curve. It's probably the most extensive platform that can be tailored to any project, but the performance does suffer a bit. Oh, and before we move on, you can find a full Wix review or more info on other providers by subscribing. I've shown you the easiest online shop builder, and I've shown you the most extensive suite for business. Now we can take a look at the most stylish website creator on the market, Squarespace. It's low-key my favorite choice for portfolios or fashion shops, and it's not just me. Squarespace templates constantly win design awards for innovations. However, it can't be compared to the extent of Wix or the ease of management of Shopify. It's best for small, medium projects. When you start with Squarespace, just like Wix, you get to choose from two approaches. Pick a regular template and edit it, or use the new Blueprint Editor to craft a design block by block. Now, the Blueprint Editor isn't AI and doesn't do your job for you. Instead, it goes from top to bottom, allowing you to mix and match different sections. I have to admit that this approach is impressive and for beginners allows them to have a website without overthinking. But again, Squarespace templates are modern and truly stylish, so I would absolutely recommend looking at the 110 plus theme selection first. Like if we compare Shopify versus Squarespace default templates, it's night and day. That's not to be mean to Shopify, but Squarespace templates are much more creative and expressive. When it comes to editing your design, there's a nice selection of elements and sections, a bit more than Shopify had to offer. You get responsive drag and drop controls. It's not as detailed as Wix, but it works as intended. I just like how clean and minimalistic Squarespace editor is. You won't get lost here within hundreds of different menus. Just like with all my best website builder recommendations, business tools are great here. Adding and managing your store is simple and you don't get overwhelmed with endless choices. Squarespace offers relatively limited SEO and marketing options though. Despite this, it comes with essentials, including SEO checklists, performance monitoring, analytics, and email marketing. My favorite is undoubtedly Squarespace Unfold, a free toolkit allowing for easy creation of visual content for social media sharing. There's also a pop-up builder and URL tools, but that's kind of it. There are a few extensions you can add to your site. The selection is tiny compared to the previous two providers, but you should find something needed. Squarespace allows you to test nearly every part of its platform for free up to 14 days. Although you can't publish a site, sell, or even share without a password. To do all this, I recommend going with the business plan, since the cheapest one is sufficient only for personal projects. The entry point is around $20 per month for unlimited products, premium blocks, extra customization features, and a free domain for the first year. More expensive plans differ mostly by the extra features they offer, like abandoned cart recovery or advanced discounts. Unsurprisingly, being a slick and optimized platform, Squarespace shows the best performance results out of all free recommendations it managed to fully load a new store template within the two-second mark, blowing previous providers out of the water. Looking closer, it seems like Squarespace had a longer blocking time, but still managed to be the fastest. So hats off to you, Squarespace. 
grab Squarespace if you want a straightforward, fast and stylish website builder for any type of business website. It might not be as extensive as others, but Squarespace has all that small medium projects might need. Look, to summarize this entire video, all three of the best website builder recommendations will be a great choice for your new e-commerce project. And by this point, you should know which one is right for you. But for those still undecided, go with Shopify for a straightforward online store building experience. Use Wix if you want to build more than stores and want to have nearly every tool available. Squarespace is for those who are looking for a stylish and modern simple business platform. Grab my discount link below to save even more and I wish you good business. Thank you for watching my best website builder for e-commerce video till the very end. If you want a full Squarespace review or Shopify review, you can find them by subscribing. If you have comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.